everybody, this is Larry. Uh, this is Lead Code Day 7 of the May Lead Code Challenge. That was very awkward. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get right to it. I have to hit the refresh button. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment on, you know, in the comments on how you do. Uh, we'd love to you know, hear about your, your approaches and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, let's, let's get right at it. Um, okay, cousins in binary tree. Uh, in a binary tree, the root node is at depth 0, and children of each depth k nodes are at depth k plus 1. Two nodes of, of a binary tree are cousins, and they have the same depth but have different parents. We're given a root of a binary tree with unique values, and the values x and y of two different nodes on the tree. We turn true if and only if the nodes corresponding to the values x and y are cousins. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so we have, so the tree is going down, right? So we can, uh, We can just do a depth first search. Uh, I mean, I think there are ways to kind of make this cooler or cuter, but I think just to keep it simple, we're going to do a depth first search. Uh, is equivalent to finding the node X and then finding nodes Y, and then um, and then just see if they have the same parent. That's pretty much it, right? Um, I mean, we could do something fancier or funkier, uh, but I'm just going to, and you could there are a couple of ways to implement it. Let me know how you implement it, and you know, leave, leave it in the comments, and you know, join the Discord, join the chat, and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I think a depth first search, and you could do it with one depth first search, you could do it with two depth first search, you can do it with a few things. Uh, but, I, but that's what I'm going to start, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Uh, and they have all unique values and only 100 nodes. Uh, but even with more than 100 nodes, if you're doing a linear time, depth first search will be fast enough. Though I guess in theory, you could do some n square stuff. So in this case, maybe it's even, it's very much uh, necessary. But yeah, but let's, let's do a depth first search. Uh, let's, Let's search for, uh, all right. for so I'm, I'm going to just implement it, uh, and then we'll talk through it. So let's just uh, keep track of, uh, you know, uh, let's just call them found nodes as you go to an array. Uh, we have a, we have a search, uh, we have a node, uh, and then let me just keep it that way. Uh, we could pass in the X and the Y, but it doesn't change, so it should be okay. Uh, if node.value is equal to x or node.value is equal to y, um, we do found nodes.append. Uh, do we want? I think we have to get the parent as well. So we we we, we are a oh maybe we could keep a depth. That's what I wanted to do actually. Uh, so we could actually return the depth and the parent, uh, but we have to get the parent. So so let's also pass in the parent as as part of this. Uh, just so it'll be easier to keep track of, uh, and then the recursive value then in that case will be uh, uh, yeah. Let's given the search of a node if well oh yeah let's actually check to see if it's none first. If no is none, then just return, um, and otherwise if no um, well if node is not none, then let's search node dot left. Uh, the node is now the next node's parent and that plus one, uh, and then we could also do the same with. With the, uh, with the right side of the tree. Uh, and then now we should have uh, two nodes here. So we just have to check uh, return uh, with found nodes. Uh, the depth is equal to each other. Uh, and maybe we will use uh, a name tuple for this. Um, just so that this code is easier. Uh, but let, let's fix this and then, uh, or let's get it right and then I'll clean this up slightly, uh, and then also, uh, yeah, uh, maybe, oh, oops, now this is not right, <laughs> and this is why name tuple would be cleaner, um, but yeah, and I think you can actually probably uh, just set them to equal each other for tuple values, but I, I want to be explicit in this case, uh, and then now we can uh, run some tests, tests, mm -hmm. a little bit tricky to type in, that's okay, uh, because we have magical copy and paste, okay, let's run the code real quick, yeah, hmm. well, 
that's a uh, file notes. Oh, well, okay. The reason why this doesn't work is we didn't kick it off. So let's uh, search for the root. We have none as a parent and dev is zero. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well, mm, hmm. So we do have to, um, uh, an incorrect answer. So what is the, what does this tree look like? Let's take a look. Uh, so we search for four and five. Uh, so the answer should be true, but we got fours. Oh, oh sorry, I, my condition is wrong. Uh, we want them to have different parents. So easy fix. Uh, I think I just... Uh, okay, so that looks okay. Uh, let's, let's give it a submit. Uh, actually, let's... let's uh, mm, let me just think a little bit about the uh, different test cases. I guess there are not that many more. There's just, I mean... Uh, are all the nodes going to be in the tree? Um, yeah, I mean, if all the X and Y are on the tree, then this should be good enough. So let's give it a, let's give it a submit. And yeah, and that's all. You, and that's all there is to it. Uh, seems pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, and kind of just to clean this up slightly, um, let's use name tuples. Uh, so how I would do that is, uh, let's just say, hmm. uh, let's just say found, found pair is you could, or found node maybe, um, found node, found one node is uh, you know, found node, and then we just have uh, depth and the parent, right? And now we can just append um, found node of uh, depth and parent. And then now we could just also here is uh, found node. Subs I guess this is actually mostly still the same, except for now it's easier to read. Um, so we want depth to be the same and the parent to not be the same, to be cousins. Otherwise, they're siblings, right? So this is just like a very minor uh, readability thing. Um, for name tuples, it's very common in Python. But in general, and also maybe in other languages, you would write classes instead. That basically is what this does. Uh, and yeah, so the complexity, what's the one-time complexity and the space complexity? Well, the space complexity, um, we put a bit on the stack, so technically it's O of n space, uh, where n is the number of nodes on the tree. Um, and in terms of complexity, well, uh, or time, uh, running time, uh, we look at each node once, right? So it's going to be O of n, uh, and you, you cannot do better than look at every node once, so, so that's going to be the lower bound for running time. Um, yeah, and this is a tree problem, this is a recursion problem. These things come up all the time in interviews, and competitive programming. So I definitely urge you to practice this. Uh, and it's not, you know, you, you once you practice more and more, you get uh, the idea of different variations and what you need to do, whether it's searching or, or different things on a tree. Um, yeah, let me know how you did on this problem. Uh, what, you know, was it okay for you? And, uh, and yeah, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.